Westfield is very much present in the style of Charles Adams art. When you're walking throughout a beautiful town, you'll see the architecture, the street scenes. So we as a town have been so lucky celebrating Charles Adams as a hometown boy. I'm Dawn Mackey. I am a council person for the town of Westfield. I am the chairwoman and creator of Adams Fest. In 2018, our brand new mayor was interested in doing something that was special for the town, uniquely ours. So we talked about the people that were famous from Westfield and Adams grew up on Elm Street. His house is historically designated. And if you just meander one block further, 411 Elm Street is what we believe to be one of the big influences on the Adams family home. Right beyond that, was the Presbyterian Cemetery. It was one of his favorite places to play as a child. And if you walk through that cemetery, you will absolutely notice the shapes, the styles of the gravestone appear in many, many of Adams' works. So it was clear that Charles Adams was the winner and Adams Fest was born. The first idea that we came up with was how do we get people to walk around our town? We came up with the wicked windows of Westfield. So 65 to 70 windows have been decorated by local artists. And when you're walking through our downtown, hopefully you pick up a cup of cocoa, maybe an ice cream cone, but it becomes an event. We have about 35 street signs that are Adams Way or Pugsley Path. So every year we try to do a little something to surround the town and embrace the season. This is our year six art exhibit. We call this the Gallery on Elm Street. We work with the T and Charles Adams Foundation to bring a curated art exhibit every year. A very small group of amazing and dedicated volunteers have transformed an empty storefront into a gallery that we hope is evocative of a deserted Victorian garden. So we hope when you walk in here, you'll feel a chill and a little dampness, like you're walking through a forgotten place. We also provide a lecture for people who want to learn a little bit more. And then we pair it with traditional fun events. We have a giant ale garden with music and games. And we topped it off with a masquerade ball. For many, many years, there have been stories that Adams was a mischievous teen and would graffiti in people's garages and barns. And there was this story of a house on Dudley that may have had an original Adams in their barn. The owners took Mayor Brindle into the barn and there was this six foot skeleton scrawled in the middle of a room full of graffiti. <laughs> So generation after generation of teenagers would hang out in that barn, add their own mark, party, and yet they left the skeleton largely intact. So the town of Westfield brought in two museums and they were able to determine that this was indeed an original Adams. So we as a town have been so lucky that the Kichi family allowed the town to excavate Dudley from their barn, and it is on display for the public at the gallery on Elm Street. Charles Adams was the life of every party, and when you read through his cartoons, they're deep, they're funny, they're macabre, and he was so forward-thinking. These characters were drawn 50 and 60 years ago, and he drew strong women characters. He celebrated the weird, had a family that was so unorthodox and yet loving and accepting in their own way. His life evolved, and we are so incredibly fortunate to have the works of not only Charles Adams, but Edward Gorey here in downtown Westfield. And you really can just come downtown, take in the art, enjoy the windows, dine and shop, and we'd love to have you.